Well, hello again for USCFSales.com. This is Steve Lopez with another Chess Base 11 tip. In the last couple of videos, we've been looking at how to find complete board positions using Chess Base 11. Chess Base 11 is really good for helping your middle game research. When you're looking at a book uh, describing various middle game motifs like fee and keto bishops, doubled rooks, isolated d pawns, they typically will give you a position or two with an explanation or a game or two with an explanation, but they don't give you really enough information. It's not quite enough for you to get your head around it. You need to look at a lot more. And this is where Chess Base 11 really shines because it allows you to look for many of these positional motifs by searching for position fragments. Not full board positions, just parts of board positions. Now, how do you do that, you might ask. We're going to look at this database right here. It's a smaller database. I want to show you a couple different searches in this video, so that's why I'm going for a smaller database of just games from the 1800s, just to give you an idea how this works. Uh, to set it up, it's very similar to doing the full board position searches we've already looked at. You right-click, select Search. Click the reset button. Just get in the habit of doing that. What that does that it eliminates your previous searches in case there's any that you've already done. Um, sometimes you'll put in a player name and forget that you did it and decide you just want to go to a position search. And if that's a position that particular player was never in, the search will come up dry. There'll be no hits. Just get in the habit of resetting the search mask before a search, unless you intend to carry over your last search criteria into a new search. What we're going to look for here is a fianchettoed bishop position for white on the king side. And the way you do this, you have two rows of pieces here. This is your box of chess pieces. Just like setting up a board on a table in front of you, you click on the piece or pawn that you want and just start clicking on squares. We want a fianchettoed bishop on the king side and let's do the whole classic fianchettoed bishop position where the knight is coming to f3 and let's just say that white is castled. So we'll set up that position. And what's going to happen here, we also want to set up first and last. The first move that it can happen in and the last move. If white does nothing, doesn't move any center pawns or anything else, and just goes to get this position set up, you can do it in four moves. One, two, three, and then four castling. So we'll take our first move to be move four. And because this is kind of an opening motif, not so much the middle game, we'll say the last move ought to be move 15. You can either use these little arrow keys to increment or uh, reduce the number, or you can just type it on your keyboard, as I've just done. So we're going to search for all games in which this position fragment occurs on the board between move 4 and move 15. We come down here and click OK, and we immediately start getting games. Notice this is kind of interesting. Cochran uh, was in Calcutta. Uh, John Cochran was in Calcutta for many years and tended to play the same guy over and over again. So that's why you see a whole ton of games with these two guys playing against each other. Scroll down, you get some other people here. Uh, Steinitz playing this position against Chigorin. Um, Paulson, another Chigorin game. Marazzi, but notice, watch the board. Watch, watch the board as I'm clicking on different games. Notice, every single one of these games has that position fragment we were looking for, that classic castled kingside with the fiend kettle bishop position that we set up in our search. So it's very simple. It's not hard to do just uh, to look for a position fragment. We're only looking for games in which this corner of the board looks like this. The rest of the board can have anything on it. So notice how the rest of the board just changes from game to game, but the constant is this corner of the board down here where the castled white king is. Show you another uh, another little tweak for this, and that is when you are setting up positions, sometimes you'll make a mistake, and I'll show you how to rectify that problem. Let's say you're um, you accidentally put a knight here instead of a bishop. How do you get rid of the knight? Well, you can right click, and that takes the knight away. And then you can go over here and click on the bishop, and put a bishop in. Let's say though you want to have a position in which there are two fianchetto bishops squaring off against each other. So we'll click on some black pawns and put them up here. We'll click on a white bishop and put it here and suddenly realize that was done. We needed a black bishop. You know how you get rid of that? If you right click, it erases it. If you right click with the mouse again, it reverses the color. Notice that I did not click the black bishop button, only the white bishop button. 
If I left click, I put in a white bishop. If I want to erase it, I can click with either mouse button to erase it. And if I click with the right mouse button, I get the other color. So now I can do a search where uh, there would be two bishops facing off against each other on the long diagonal. So there's a bunch of different things you can do here with this, and, and we've barely scratched the surface. I'm going to show you more in future videos. But the big thing to remember is that you can search for position fragments, parts of positions, just by clicking on these pieces. This is like your box of chess pieces next to an actual physical chessboard. Just click on the piece you want, put it on the square you want. If you want to erase it, just click on it again. If you want to reverse the color, right click, and you get the same piece but the opposite color. That's mainly what I want to show you here. However, there are more complicated position searches that we can do in ChessBase 11, and I'll be happy to show you that in our next video. Until then, I'm Steve Lopez for USCFSales.com. Thanks for watching.